remember I said there's not just one that gives it that aroma because we had another one for orange. Let me just keep that triangle right in there. Acetate's two. Octal is eight. Oh, boy. So if you start seeing the way these are like building blocks, on the ends are always methyls, CH3s. The inside CH2s. Now you can really distinguish. If you look down there, you can't tell how many H's there are. You look at the color of the carbon, and that'll tell you. brown on the middle. I think I need to get a marker. This look better for you since we're a little chintzy on the diamonds here. Bond down there. So go double bond to that carbon. Go methyl top and just methyl on the side. See how easy that is. I'm going to color in the double bond so I don't get lost going across here. Now, I called this an octatriene. There's going to be three double bonds on these. Coming across, there's going to be eight. So, eight, seven, six, five, four, eight, seven, six, five, four. Okay, now on three, there's going to be a double bond up top. So, we got to kind of angle it. go to a diamond. But the chain's going to go on this way. So there's one carbon down. And it goes to a terminal ending double bond. So we said triene three. Where are the three double bonds? There's one, there's two, Three, and we've got the eight, four, three, two, one. <coughs> okay, so what we see is there's a continuous eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbons. But there's two, well, that's not even a methyl on the side, really. There's a methyl there. So there's a total... There's only C's and H's. So we see a total of eight in the, the string with two on the side. So that's eight, nine, ten carbons. Now the H's will count after we draw the red circle around. But again, this was one I wanted you to look through first. These are the color coding. Find the carbons that have all their bonds. There's going to be two of them here already. 
We'll color those with the black marker. Remember, those are called S. I do do a little. There is one here, too. Again, I'm drawing these sideways. That's why they're all crooked and they don't look like real diamonds. So if you're doing this at home, make it as neat as you want. It a nice texture. All right, now it's just H's. So what do we got? We got a methyl here. That's CH3. Terminal methyl on the end. So these I are identical, really. Either one of these you picked could have been part of the chain. Out here, this is interesting, huh? The two terminal ones here are CH2s. One, two. One, two, that's a one, that's going to be a two. Oh, we were going to do these in orange, weren't we? Start color coding these. we got to find the right color code for them. Orange, orange for CH2s. And let's see, our meth, these are scarlet. These were our scarlet ones, the methyls, see? So remember, you can color these in any order you want. I just think picking these carbons first, though, is a good thing to do. Uh, you can work your way in. I'm doing the methyls right now. CH2s. I'm not used to these. I got to color these in orange, huh? Orange is going to match the brown of the carbon. Again, these are SP2s, right? These are SP3s. Now, we need another color. Did we pick one for the CH2s? CH2s are brown, but the CH. And we haven't had too many of those, have we? I think we picked kind of the purple color. Color these purple. Because now we're used to it. We know that the triangle's a carbon, so the color doesn't really matter as much. So we'll color purple inside of red. How about that? So now when you go through, we could even circle these in red. Which might be a better way of doing it, so they're all red. Now, we got all the bonds on there. See how fun and easy that is? This is when you're smelling the wood, when you're using your, uh, what do you call it, chainsaw, and you're chopping up the wood. Bay leaves, real distinct woody smell to it. That's what you're smelling, myrcene. It's got double bonds, and it's just a hydrocarbon. It's all methyls. Carbons and hydrogens. So we see there were 10 carbons. Now count the hydrogens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Real easy to do. This is college chemistry, kids.